ta -da! Okay, I think this is one of the most awaited episode on the channel. This is the slow feeding test of a Commandante grinder. Not quite the C40 yet, but we have the same Nitro Blade Burst inside this Commandante X25 Trailmaster. So let's get right to it. Um, I need my test coffee and I need my scale. We need the Kruv, of course. This is the fourth grinder that we're doing the slow feed test to. So the first one is the King Grinder K6. The second one was the AZ Presso Q Air. And the third one is a Time More C3. So now, this is the first time that we're doing a slow feeding test with a Commandante grinder. Again, not quite the C40 yet, but it has the same Nitro Blade Burst. I'm still holding off on the C40 grinder because that would be the most interesting. And I wanna do it last. I wanna go over all the grinders first before I do the Commandante C40. All right, so we're gonna need our control. Um, we're gonna do 23 clicks on all the grind sizes. And then we need 15 grams to do that. The 23 clicks, if you're wondering, um, that is medium grind size that I normally use with my Commandante. So I made, I made a conversion chart for all the grinders and all of them have this, has the same calibration whenever I'm doing this slow feeding test, right? So we'll start with our control. And then we're gonna start. Alright, so we finished that at 45 seconds. Right, now we're gonna load all of the coffee grounds to the groove sifter. We're gonna shake it and then we'll see the particle distribution. Right, we're gonna time it 30 seconds. Okay. Okay, the, the boulders are not everything is uniform. So we have like big boulders here. Yeah, as compared to the, I think we have two different sizes of boulders here as compared to the previous grinders that we did in the past. Um, the Commandante, I think this is the signature of the Commandante, the variety of sizes that you get. Right, um, we're gonna weigh this. Okay, we have 6.3. Right, now for the midsize. The midsize is a different story because it is very uniform. The midsize, I call them midsize just because they're in the middle of the sifter, but this is your intended size. So in this case, they are very uniform. And I think we have two to three different microns in here. The mid size is where you have the variety of your grind size. Right, so we're gonna measure this. And we have eight. So this is the microfine particles. I think we need the smaller scale for this. And we have 0 0.29 grams. If you add that up, 6.6, 6 plus 8 is 14. Fourteen point three and point three is point six, so we have point four retention. That is a lot. Again, with the X twenty five Trail Master, we get a lot of retention because of all the nooks and crannies inside this grinder. It's not the grinder's fault, but it's the chamber's fault. Uh, if you have an X twenty five 
trail master with you at home look inside and then you will see how the outer burr is attached to the body of the grinder that is where you um, get your attention right now let's weigh another 15 grams for the first slow feeding test we're gonna use this tray right so that is 15 grams our first slow feeding test is the one that you actually put in a couple of beans at a time so we're gonna try it Wow, this took us quite a while. So we finished 213. Initial thoughts about the grind quality. It actually is more uniform now. Right, now we're gonna time it again, 30 seconds. Okay, that is 30 seconds. I think the difference in the Comandante versus all the other grinders the commandante is trying to all the chafings are still here they're still alive <laughs> i'm gonna need to show you what i'm saying okay all the chafings are still here and you will be able to remove them if you didn't want them in your brew unlike in other grinders i lose all the chafings that means it is getting grinded and it is be it is in your final cup yeah that is one discovery i just thought of just now right we're gonna weigh the boulders okay so the boulders is so we have more boulders now that is 7.1 okay and then we're gonna check the mid size the mid size is 7.9 and then here is the microfine particles of the first slow feeding test. Right. Um, we're gonna measure this again with the small scale. So we have 0.25. If you add that up, you we are over we are over 0.2 so the retention is exiting the next time you use your grinder right now the second type of slow feeding test that we're gonna do is the tilting action if you've seen the previous videos that we did for different slow feeding tests on different grinders if you haven't seen those videos the link is up here what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna tilt the grinder like this and then tilt it from time to time to feed the coffee beans slowly. Right, so we're gonna start. We need the timer. And go. Ooh, that was a lot longer than normal. So we finished at 150, 1 minute and 50 seconds. Right, now we're gonna load this onto the crew sifter. Initially, the grind quality is actually better. Right, we're gonna time it. 30 seconds. All right, that is 30 seconds. This time we have more varieties of, of boulders. Yeah, we have a different kind of boulders this time. Right, we're gonna weigh it. We have 7.7. .7. Now for the midsize. The midsize is very uniform as well with two to three different micron sizes. 
Now this is actually a revelation. All right. Right, we have 6.8. Now for the microfine particles, here it is. Okay, for the microfine particles, I definitely want to um, weigh it here in the ultra sensitive scale. Because I'm pretty sure that we have less. Mm, see, we have 0.21. If you add that up, we have 7, 14.7. Okay, we have retention again. <laughs> right. I'm just gonna check if we have more here. Okay, nothing else. This is a very exciting finding, you know. So in our control, we have more mid-size than boulders and it's still the same with the first slow feed test it is actually um, very consistent but with fewer boulders maybe we managed to um, reduce the cracking and shattering of the of the coffee beans just because we're not putting everything all at once but with the tilting action we actually managed to put more boulders than mid-size. So what does it mean? Um, I think the boulders give more flavor. Um, I think the boulders manage the temperature even more. And yeah, while giving you still a consistent amount of mid-size. So... In our tilting action, we managed to reduce the mid-size over the boulders from 7.9 to 6.8. That is one gram. So we have one gram more boulders than the mid-size in the second slow feed test. So this is actually exciting. If you have, if you have a Commandante X25 Trailmaster at home, the slow feed test will give you three different, very different results when you do the slow feed test. All right? So the first is the signature commandante taste. The second one, when you do the slow feed test, um, I think it might give you a sweeter cup. While having less fines, it, ha it, it gave me more mid-size, which is very consistent, by the way. And at the second slow feed test, it gave me more boulders, which could give me more flavor notes. Wow, this is exciting. Yeah, I don't know, but, but for you at home, I think if you have an X25 Trailmaster or your grinder is exactly the X25 Trailmaster at home, you should give this a try and it will give you a very different result. Yeah, me personally, I want to try it right now. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm going to show you more about coffee. Bye!